Hey guys, welcome back. It's the coach here, and we have another episode of Bottom to the Top with Idaho as I try to take Idaho to a national championship within five years. We got off to a great start in episode one. We had two big wins. Last episode wasn't our best, losing to Utah State and Fresno State, getting absolutely blitzed by Fresno State, to be fair. And now we're 3-3, three and three, and I'm getting excited because we have a big upcoming slate. We have Louisiana Tech away. We have New Mexico at home. We have San Jose State at home. And we got to get some wins because we have Florida at the end of the schedule, and we have to get to six if we want to make a bowl game. That is my goal this year is to get to that bowl game. I don't know if we can do it. We'll find out. Let's get going. All right, and we're back on the road here at Louisiana Tech. They're one and four. We're three and three. It's going to be a monsoon in this one, so we'll see how that affects uh, turnovers and stuff. McKinney hands the ball off to Hobbs, and Hobbs gets us going with a huge run, finds the hole, and he's going to take this one to the house to get us going. Finally getting a big run game going. On defense now, second and two later in the first quarter. They're going to do a halfback screen to 23, their impact player, and he's going to make a huge play to get the first down. After Henderson stacked, they have a third and 11, and they're going to find a way to keep this drive going, just dicing us in the air. Then second and 12 later on that drive, they're going to find 81, and he's going to take this one to the house. Late in the first, McKinney drops back and finds White to get the big first down on a third and nine. Same drive now in the second quarter. Hobbs takes it on fourth and two. We go for it on fourth down, and we get a first down to keep the drive alive. Second and ten, McKinney does a fake handoff to Hobbs. He finds Gibson, and Gibson fumbles it. But there's a flag on the play. There would be a face mask. be the reason why he fumbled it, so we get a huge break there, and we will be set up on first and goal. McKinney now with the ball. He's going to take it himself and find the end zone to make it 14-7. to Continuing later in the second quarter, third and six. And Lumpkin comes up with a big interception. Our linebacker comes up huge for us and sets us up. We would stall out and do any, nothing offensively, but Pryor comes up big and he misses it wide left. So it's 14-7, so we get nothing out of that one. Later in the second, we get a huge third and 19 play to White to keep the drive alive. Third and goal. McKinney looking for Rodriguez on the goal line. It's going to be fourth and goal on the one. We're going to go for it. Can we get a touchdown here? Late in the second, Kenny snaps it. Fake handoff to Hobbs. He's just going to scramble. No one's open. He tries to take it himself, and we're going to end up short. So two times we failed, but we're going to get the ball back late in the second again, and this time we hit White, and White comes up clutch and gets us down to the one here. We got a flag on that play, but it's not going to matter. McKinney's going to score later into the third. Hobbs gets stopped on second down, third and goal, fake handoff. McKinney scrambles and misses it, so we end up having to kick a field goal. So 24-7 now into the third quarter we go. And number six gets a decent kickoff return. Defense is playing really well as we just, you know, we've done a really good job of keeping Louisiana Tech. I know they're not an exciting team, not a great offense, but Idaho has done a great job defensively. Henderson tries to make the play, and oh no. We just totally, totally had a missed assignment in the secondary, and that's going to be a touchdown for number 19. So it's 24 14 late in the third we're back and forth and goal we get these weird goal line situations we're going to go for it this time and mckinney throws a pick later into the fourth quarter both offenses are stalling out we would get a field goal to make it 27 14 looks like we're going to hold on to this one really late in the fourth Louisiana Tech is finally getting their offense going trying to drive down the field late to keep this game alive they're going to find their man four seconds to go they're going to find the end zone but it's not going to matter because time has expired we'll get the 27 21 victory a good win for idaho and we move on to new mexico state all right this game here is going to be probably the most exciting one of the series so far hobbs takes it to the house to make it seven to three they'll hit a field goal next on their next series and then on our next series well at the end of the first we decide hey let's throw a pick and you know what it's gonna be a freaking pick six because that's what we love to do we find ways to throw pick sixes i don't know what it is but our qbs love to throw it to the other team uh, late in the first, though, White decides, hey, man, I got you guys. I'm going to put the team on my back, and he's going to take this one all the way to the house, and it is now officially 
14 to 13. And then Conception says, hey, guys, um, this is what I do. This is what I do, man. And he gets himself a pick. And he, though, will be caught on the 22. We would continue on with that drive in the second quarter. We got a third and goal. And McKinley decides to go over the top and get us in the end zone. And we get 21 to 13 later in the second. They're going to get back on this one. And they're going to find a big play. Our defense is being atrocious. We can't stop anyone. We would get stalled out on offense. They would get the back ball back. And they would go right down the field and score to make it 28-21 late in the second. Again, we stall out, and they, again, are driving on a second and goal, and he finds the end zone to make it 35-21. to 21. On the kickoff to start the third, though, 18 decides he's going to freaking take this one all the way. Makes us look silly, jukes us out of our shoes, and it is 42-21. You're probably thinking, man, we are done for, but McKinney says no, not so fast. Makes it 40 to 35 they'd go down and score and make it 49 and we would then again be driving here late in the fourth and mckinney keeps us going mckinney rolls out mckinney takes off mckinney finds the end zone to make it a seven point game we have an onside kick with a minute to go our hopes are on this onside kick can we get the stop here we go prior with the kick and Pryor pops it up, but they're going to recover it. Our chance is some. We have to get a stop here. Third and three. Our game on the line. Can the defense come up big with the stop? He does the fake handoff, and he finds his stud wide receiver who jukes two guys out of his shoes, and they are going to finish the game. We lose 49-42, but battled back, which made me proud. So now we have a huge game coming up because we need to beat San Jose State. All right, we're back at it with some Idaho football. We need this win coming in 4-5, and five, playing the second-best team in the conference, and San Jose comes out to a 7-0 lead early. McKinley now with the ball midway through the first. Finds White, and White's going to take this one to the house to tie the game up at 7. So big touchdown there for us. Uh, next possession, San Jose State says, hey, we're going to just continue to move the ball because our defense is not stopping anyone of late. And they find the end zone to make it 14-7. to We would stall out early in the second. They would go back on a drive. And Conception, this, this is like the only way we get stops, man. This guy gets big picks. He's our dude in the secondary. This guy deserves any award that they'll throw out him because this man makes freaking plays in the secondary. And he's all we have. So he gets us on the board to tie us up there. 14-14, they would go down on their next drive and just score because we can't stop anybody. So it's 21-14. to uh, Williams gets the handoff. He's going to go nowhere. So now it's third and goal in the second quarter. McKinney needs to find a way to get us in the end zone here with two minutes to go. Uh, he has to dump it off to White, and White drags his defender into the end zone to tie it up at 21 apiece. M later in the second, they're going to find 80, and he's gone because we just don't have any freaking speed, and it's so frustrating. We need to get some athletes here to Idaho fast. But it's not over for us on fourth and one. We're going to take it one to the house. Williams with a huge play and huge touchdown to make it 28-28, but there's still 30 seconds left. But Brooks makes the big pick. Uh, and that's going to help us get a field goal before half to make it 31-28. Late in the third, and San Jose finds a way to make it 35-31. This game really slowed down, and we score to make it 38-35 with only four minutes left to go. And San Jose State makes the big kick to make it 38-38. We're on the goal line first and goal with a tie game with a minute left to go. Brown runs and takes it in for a touchdown to make it 45-38. But can our defense get the stop with 40 seconds to go? No, nope. Brooks misses the tackle. Conception has, does not have the speed, and they tie it up at 45 each with 12 seconds to go, third and seven here late in the fourth quarter. Can we make a play to move the ball? Williams finds the way to get inside the 35. Can we hit the kick to win the game? It's 51 yards. Pryor drops back and kicks it. It's going and it's going to be just short. So unlucky there. So we go to overtime. We hold San Jose um, on overtime, and they end up kicking a field goal, so they make it a three-point game. McKinney on first and 10 gets sacked. Not the start we were looking for. Second and 19 in overtime. We need a big play to move the chains to get in field goal range, and we throw a pick. We throw a freaking pick. McKinney finds a way to throw a pick. So 48-45 final. Idaho loses another heartbreaking game, 
and this one stings. This one stings a lot. We need to get going. We're now four and six on the season. And we have to find a way to win the next two games because I don't think we're beating Florida. And I really, really need to get us to a bowl game. So turn in for episode four because it, everything's going to be on the line because this week was not our week. Our defense is atrocious, so we got to figure that. Hopefully we can get some recruits in. But till next time, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Appreciate you. And see you next time.